at the moment it is lovely and overcast which is a perfect day for planting and these are my china asters i can't remember a year where they've done so incredibly well they are getting very big now and they will need some support so my job for today is to get these into the ground i've given all the trays a really good soaking about an hour ago so they won't go into the ground dry and then i can plant them and then give them a good old watering in tonight I'm looking forward to this. Just got to decide which colour is going next to which plant. I've got some samples as well this year. I can't wait to show you. My goodness me, I've just come down to have a look at the China Asters and they're all starting to bloom now. Let me move the camera right back so you can see. <laughs> look at that. This is my favourite, amazing lavender grey. And we do have samples in here as well, so there will be other asters you've not seen before because I'm having a bit of a, a bit of a trial. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? These are the king size apricot. They're taller. They've got this beautiful, delicate apricotty colour, and they're a mix. So these are singles, doubles, and semi doubles in this beautiful delicate apricotty colour they've still got a little bit more opening to do and look we've got so many buds so many buds they look absolutely wonderful jumbled up together in an arrangement all the different shapes and sizes absolutely exquisite just like the straw flowers and there's a video on my website now if you want to see it if you missed it i'm planting the china asters six across either side of the irrigation lines about 20 to 25 centimeters apart there is a bigger gap between the lines but that's good because that will give the plants room to move into so we've got to keep the roots near the water I'm planting them again slightly deeper than normal because they are so tall I'm not actually late planting them. This is the week that I always plant my China Asters out and they've just grown so incredibly well this year. So hopefully the deeper planting will keep the roots cooler, more moisture and the soil will give them a really good anchoring in. Look at these roots. They're just pulling out, look at them. Ready to go. Just in case you're wondering and you've not seen my earlier videos, we don't pinch China asters. You might be able to see already. They're very slender plants. They branch naturally. So there's no need to pinch them. Just leave them to do their own thing. I thought you might like to see how I'm getting on. And I am done. Finished. Look at all those smart rows of China asters. You can see that Neil's frames are now back in place. So all I've got to do now is give them a watering in. I'm gonna give them a watering in overhead just this initial time because I want to settle all the soil around the roots and get them off to a really good start. And then all we have to do is stand back and leave them to get on with it. <laughs> 